Saturday and Sunday. Dude, I love pools, man. Like you come to Florida, you see all the good, like the like I said, the hidden bosses, the local heroes. You see the people cheering for the local heroes, and we got uh, Kid G, you know, playing a Mario. I've actually I've seen Kid G play before. Yeah, it's a pretty great Mario. Sweet. Very combo heavy. You know, obviously not as good as like Ally or Anti for good reason, but he's definitely he. He puts up a fight, and we're going to see him fighting against this cloud. Absolutely. He's nothing to be messed with. As you see, uh, fresh out the gate, draws blood first, and tries to go for the ally combo. I like it. The up throw into down air. Okay. Balade opening back up himself, trying to keep him off of his toes there with the short hop up airs. Okay. That was the ultimate mix-up coming from Lay. Tried to get him with the finishing touch as well on the platform, getting a little bit overzealous with that. Okay, I like the short hop forward air come out from Lade. That seems to be a saving grace. Understanding that Morrow's not the longest guy in the book. You really have to use your disjoints to keep the plumber out. Oh, I like, okay, the back air is sending Kidji clear off stage, using the fireball there to give himself some coverage, but not quite enough off stage pressure there on Lade's behalf. He's looking for that up air off the top of the stage, and they're both sitting at pretty dangerous percent. Lay just gonna frame from like, just going for Ooh. the charge instead. Looking for that air dodge off stage. Yeah, going for the down smash. He could have possibly went for like the foreigner that time. There it is. Okay, runs right into the face of danger. Gets the back throw, and that's actually gonna be enough to do it. Kid G goes up. I mean, you got when you get that grab on the far side of the stage. You know, back throw is pretty powerful kill utility that the both of the plumbers have in their arsenal. Down throw. Okay, interesting. Understanding the percentages, not going for the up tilt that time. He's putting on some safe percentage with Dare. Nice presence of mind there by Lade to understand that he recovered high a little bit. That dash attack could have been enough to connect, but uh, none of the matter. Got ourselves a relatively even match, but the low percent combo is coming out on Kid G's behalf. We saw Kid G trying to land down on the ground, but Lade was just keeping him completely airborne the entire time until he finally managed to get back down. Absolutely. It's the one, two, three jab. Kidji running right up on Lade's behalf. Okay. Burns the uh, limit a little earlier than what he probably expected, but it's not like Cloud can't get limit again with relative ease. Oh, Kidji trying to mix up his recovery by going for the super jump punch and going to the right side. Instead, he's back on the stage. Seeing a high percent. He's going to go for the yeehaw up smash, but Lade just managed to toss him back off stage. Yeah, I tell you what, man, Lade's a, a very grab happy Cloud. Something you don't quite see a lot. As you know, Cloud doesn't get a lot off of his grabs, but uh, if you can figure out a way to utilize him, especially versus somebody like Kid G, man, more power to you. And Lade is refraining from charging limit currently. He just wants to keep uh, applying more pressure against Kid G as he pushes him off stage over and again. There it is. Okay, we have an opening for Kid G, an opportunity, trying to get that second back air, but then Flay kind of switches it back on him by falling off of the platform, landing a back air of his own, using the fusion swords to send home Mario Odyssey, man. Yeah, the minute that Kid G miss, uh, missed that back air up there on that platform, that was pretty much it. Alrighty. Uh, fantastic job there by my man Lade. I mean, it was a pretty close game. Mario was adapting. Cloud at the right back. Someone is screaming in the audience. I mean, it's Florida. The crowd, the crowd is always there. <laughs> Nobody gets hyped like Florida. I don't care what you say. Okay, I like it. Playing the floor is lava. All right, it gets the up tilt. A little off the mark there. Just uh, goes right for the dare that time. Kid letting go of his shield a little bit too soon for Lady to get that punish with that down air. Falling down with the safe neutral air as well, and just kind of nick Kid G off stage. And that's, I guess, one thing I'm starting to like about Kid G a lot more is that obviously Mario has a lot of bread and butter combos, but he understands that he doesn't want to autopilot into that. Uh oh, he might be out of a jump. Goes to the top platform, gets hit with the limit cross slash. And that was a very intelligent punish coming from late. He saw that Kid G overextended his super jump punch onto the stage. He keeps going for that to try to mix up his opponent. Kid G seems a little bit too afraid to try to use his up special against the ledge and auto snap because Lade might have a punish for it at the ready or possible trump. Absolutely. But because Kid, G, Kid G's going for the riskier option, so he gets nicked. Sometimes those are high risk. Oh! Might give you the high reward you're looking for. I oh. love the second back air follow up. I don't know if Kid G, Lade would have caught that ledge again, but Kid G was for darn tootin' thought he was going to push him back off with that kick. Absolutely, man. Kind of put the cherry on top of that kill there. Just making sure that he wouldn't be able to come back. 
Because sometimes you can never be too safe versus Cloud. Like, sometimes you think you have him killed, and he just grabs the ledge from, like, 15 feet away. And all this momentum kind of seemingly coming out of nowhere for Kid G. He's just starting to bring back the percent over and again. He gets him with the dash attack, continues this onslaught against him off stage. tries to use the flood to push him as well yeah, before late kinda, goes for the ledge. Absolutely. Kid G kind of showed his hand a little early there, man. Used the flood a little early, went for the forward air a little early. Had he just waited a second or two later, he would have been, uh, been in a good position there. He laid his limits almost at the ready. He's going to go for that final bit of charge. Kiji trying to find some ground here. He's one cross slash away from losing the set. Got like the nice trots in and out. Oh, okay. Auto cancel the forward air just a little bit. Oh, no pivot grab for you. Issa up smash for his troubles. Yeah, reading the rolls. He's noticing that Lade's getting a little roll happy, so he's going to try catching him. Getting those reads. I like that he's using the fireball to cover his landings to help him land a little bit stronger with those neutral airs. Laid holding onto that limit for dear life. Reads the roll. He actually fell out of the cross slash before falling into the final hit, solidifying his results. Congratulations to Three Leaf Laid. Moving on in the loser side of the brackets. There it is. I've said it time and time again, man. The only hit.